Hi, today on Bitlonese Lab I want to take this 50 euro scooter and upgrade it to an electric one. The end result will be a badass scooter, so keep watching. You can get these scooters really cheap for 30 dollars or euros, but I spent a few bucks more, uh, 50. I think um, for this one because it also had this uh, suspension in the back here and uh, that simplifies everything in replacing the back wheel because I can simply unmount this and replace it with uh, my wheel and my construction. What I have here is a 5.5 inch uh, hub motor and this is a little bit smaller. I have 8 inch uh, wheels on the scooter. Mm, but it should work and um, it has like 250 or 350 watts and um, of course here yeah, three wires and the hull effect uh, sensors uh, to get also smooth acceleration on low speeds. As a controller I have this cheap one here from eBay or AliExpress I'm not sure yet it, it's rated to 350 watts and we can try to use it if it doesn't work i will use a good esc many connectors here but it came with a note uh, wiring instructions and installation method as a power source because this is a 36 uh, volts motor um, i will use two lipo packs with five cells each and uh, they are 18.5 rated so it's uh, nominal voltage should be around 37 and this is okay for this uh, drive here and to put them in series I have this XT60 uh, series uh, cable I got this from Hobby King like uh, this one's too and um, you can simply connect them like this and get around uh, hopefully 36 volts now 25 seriously didn't I charge them okay that's bad news already look at this was wondering about the voltage we get like 4 volts from this pack uh, that's not very good it's not puffy or anything Seems to be broken. Ah, Hobby King! I sent them a picture of the charger error message and they immediately sent out a new replacement. Unfortunately it will arrive next week, so I will substitute it with a 4 cell LiPo that I have here. First step would be to check how we can wire this up. So these should fit here. No need to replace uh, the, these connectors yet. The hull connectors are different, I will replace it with something that I fear around and also the power connection here, uh, I will replace it with uh, an XT60 connector. So let's start. I started to replace the connectors and soldered some adapters for the different pack. That's okay. After that was done, I set up a simple test stand and wired everything to test the motor. The power, motor and hull lines are obvious, but it's also important to connect the key lock line to positive as well. The white self-learning line can be connected to switch the forward direction. It has to be disconnected for the simple potty to work. That one is connected to the throttle lines. It was a joy to see it working. Okay, I will test it right now, like this. <laughs> now we need to replace this wheel with this one and I need to replace the whole part here since the wheel is thicker and smaller and I will make it rather straight and the brake here nah, nobody needs a brake <laughs> So oh, let's start to disassemble this one here. I 
I decided to make it from mild steel and took some measurements. We just need to weld some chunks of this 4mm steel bar. In fact, it's the first time I'm welding a project. Got inspired by another YouTuber to buy a tick welder. Let's see how that turns out. This old Tony, if you are watching, this is all your fault. Okay, doesn't matter, let's do some YouTube magic. Uh, looks a little bit better now. I tested the fitting and marked where to drill the holes. Using the square I tried to chuck in the part really straight. If you are working with multiple axes like I do here, it's most important to keep it chucked the same way for all the holes. This way they all end up at least parallel and the thing will fit. The last thing to do is to cut out the slits for the wheel axis and the mechanical part is done. I was surprised how good the crude thing turned out. After a final test, I had to reconnect the self-learning line once to switch the direction. I made some extension cables and mounted the controller to a good spot in the front. This slider with a rubber band should be enough as a crude throttle. It will be replaced in the next part anyways. Duct tape will be enough for now for the batteries until I receive the replacement pack. We will make it nice and dandy next time. So it's time to test it. Backwheel drive is really fun. It's really powerful and quick. I will test the maximum speed next time when I have working brakes. I already feel like the most badass kid in the neighborhood. And that's all for the first part. In the next part we will make it a little bit more intelligent and also legal to drive it on the streets. So if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to my channel and tune in again. And meanwhile, just watch my robot arm video that was published on the Electromaker channel. See you next time. Bye! Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> you know what? 